Hey crafty friends and planner babes. Today we're planning in my classic happy planner for the week of May 2nd through the 8th. And the 8th is Mother's Day. So I thought I would do something um, that my mom loves. So my mom loves birds and bird houses. So I found these really cute uh, bird stickers in the Easter section at Hobby Lobby. So I picked these up uh, to use uh, for Mother's Day. I've also pulled some stickers from the Pastel Rainbow sticker book. And I pulled some of these boxes here and one of these like colorful boxes that sort of matches the color that the birds have on them. And I've also pulled the Mother's Day. So I think the idea is to kind of put these boxes across here in the middle, maybe. Um, I do have a couple of things this week. I'm coming home from Ohio on the 2nd. Uh, Ginger's birthday is on the 4th. Uh, National Nurses Day is on the 6th. Uh, I, my Cricut um, bill is due on the 7th. It comes out of my account. And then, of course, the 8th is Mother's Day. So there's quite a little bit going on this week. Um, I'm also going to be... Um, my son is also going to be home this weekend for Mother's Day. And we are going to be going to church with my mom on Sunday. And then we're going to be taking her out to eat. Uh, so that should be fun. So let's go ahead and get started. So I think I'm going to start with the boxes in the middle first. And kind of put one on each day so they'll overlap just a little bit which I'm okay with and I'm gonna try to put the boxes on as straight as I can originally I plan on kind of like placing them different ways but I kind of want to put the birds maybe on top of the boxes finish putting the boxes down on this side and I chose some blank boxes and a couple boxes with lines and uh, the like grid just to give it a little bit more kind of character and dimension we'll do yellow and then green and then we'll do the pink all right so we have those boxes and then i pulled this one with all the different colors here uh for sunday since we would be going to take my mom out to eat let's grab some of the birds so I'm thinking about maybe putting <clears throat> the birds kind of on top of each of the boxes across the page or I could put like some here and some on top so let's see maybe all of them on top so that's what I'm thinking about that and then using a couple of the like bird houses with the boxes so I do need to grab boxes for my return home, Ginger's birthday, uh, National Nurses Day, um, and my son coming home. And then we are supposed to go see Seekers of Dumbledore on Saturday, but I am unsure if that's actually happening yet. Um, and I feel like it's like missing a lot of something like we've got this big box here we have a little box here and then we have all this stuff in the middle maybe if i get some of the 
birds lay down, it will look a little bit better. So let's do, let's try that. I wanted to do like a tree or some sort and then had the birds on the tree, but I kind of sketched it out on this side and didn't like how it turned out. So then I decided to do something like this instead. So let's do a bigger one here. And then we would need a smaller one here, but that would go over the box. So let's skip that one for now. Let's do a yellow one. Do the yellow and pink. And this one looks like it's flying, which is cute. Let's do one of the bigger blue ones, maybe. Let's do this one. And then we'll do smaller pink one here, maybe for here. And then we do have a small, well, I kind of wanted to use a small one here. We do have like this one that's a little bit different. Be nice to have one that's a little bit different. I think I need to move this box up or that box down or move this one down here. And let's do this one. I kind of think that's cute with the birds. That gives it a good focal point here, and I think it makes it flow pretty good. And then we could do birdhouse maybe here and... birdhouse here or a birdhouse on top no I don't know if I want a birdhouse with Ginger's birthday move that let's see should I do another bird no maybe oh I don't know let's try this smaller house so I think it's kind of cute with the house and the bird and I still have room to write Ginger's birthday and then these two houses are pretty much matchy matchy, but they could possibly go down here. They're too similar. What about moving this tall one? Carefully moving the tall one. Yeah, let's do that and then move the smaller one over here. Yeah, let's do that. All right, this turned out really cute, I think. So we have that. And let's see, we have this Mother's Day I'm going to put in 
this box here. All right. Cute. This is so cute. I actually like it without any of the washi tape. That gives this more of a focal point. I do still have quite a few of the birds left. I could put... I put one of the smaller birds sitting on top of their house. Let's see. Maybe. Might leave that. All right. So let me grab bullet points. I don't think there was bullet points in here, was there? Let's check. I don't think so. No. checklist but not bullet points okay so we can definitely grab pink and blue and yellow let's grab yellow let's grab blue or we can just do black bullet points maybe hmm Or gold there is gold on here but I think actually I'm gonna do black so that the color the main focal point of the color is across here so let me grab my tweezers I have some already cut here I always need things for the weekend Washing clothes, washing sheets, doing dishes, cleaning out the fridge, those types of things. So we'll do two on Saturday. Not that one, apparently. So I'm struggling a little bit with the bullet points. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out a few more of the bullet points and add them around the page. And then I will be right back. Okay, so I put some bullet points kind of around in different places so that I could jot down things and check them off as I needed. Um, I also grabbed the Gold Star Quotes book. I know there's this empowered women empower women quote that would go good with this and maybe this one she has fire in her soul and grace in her heart i really like that i think that's fitting for mother's day and let's see the colors mostly go we've got the yellows and oranges and this the the red kind of is more of a reddy pink so I think that will go so I need to make sure I like to have runes for my like remember you know habit tracker stuff so let's maybe see if we can fit this here so we have that and then I guess I could do the bullet points full-size bullet points I 
Let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. I think I like that better than the box. I could mm, spread them out maybe. More room to write. Yeah, I definitely like that better. Okay, that works. It's turning out super cute. I don't think there's much else I need to add. I think this is done. This is functional and pretty. And I know my mom would love it because it has the cute little birds. Let me grab. I'm actually going to put this in my uh, travel planner. Uh, since I will be coming back on that Monday. So let me grab my travel planner. And we will add this to it. There we go. I'm also going to get the other part of the May monthly. So you're getting, um, that way I have my May monthly, uh, in case I need that as well. So let's go back to this. This turned out so cute. I love these little birds. I, I really enjoy using Hobby Lobby stickers in my planner. So who knew that I would enjoy using stickers other than the Happy Planner stickers in my planner. And they work so well together. So thanks a lot guys for stopping by and checking out this video. I hope you liked it. And I would want to wish all the mommies out there Happy Mother's Day. Thanks a lot guys. Until next time. Bye.